Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to say, call Alayim, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Raka Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who taught us this truth. Shalom and salutation to the hopeful elect out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth, presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice as the scripture teaches us to do. All right, waking up the true so, Israelites, you <clears throat> Salaki, waking up the true Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and our seed that has been scattered abroad that may look like the other heathen nations, but can receive this message in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh the Father, Yahweh Shai the Son. All right. And um, shalom to the very, very, very few sisters that do listen up as well. I'm the brother Yara Maya from the Great Millstone, Chicago. Can I basically coming back to you? You know, I'm coming back to you with a short. And I had did a lesson the other day, you know, you know, and I was talking about how being grateful, you know, makes this path easy. But the scriptures go into being grateful. You know, the scriptures go into being uh, thankful. And the first thing you really got to be thankful for is that the Lord made you an Israelite. Well, really, the Lord gave you the truth. But you have to be an Israelite to receive the truth. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, is the father of all things. You know, the creator. All right. Could have made you anybody, could have did anything, but he made you and chose you to receive this truth. Now, granted, we don't know whether we are the elect or not. That's why starting even with the apostles themselves, you know, on down, we, we refer to ourselves as the hopeful elect. All right. Because we don't know. And and the reason we don't know, is it because we don't feel we're doing the right thing? No. It's because the scripture says, he who endures to the end shall be saved. All right? That's why when you read um, Hebrews and it goes into faith, if it was something we see, you know, it wouldn't require faith. You know, and, and without faith, it is impossible to please Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So these are all our trials, you know, granted, that we have to live up to. To, you know, redeem ourselves and ultimately get that salvation from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But just the fact that the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai himself, turns you on, turned that spark on in your spirit. It's so you can receive this word and really live. Because Yahweh Shai himself said, uh, the words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. The spirit quickening. All right. We have the spirit on us. This whole world, even two-thirds of our nation, well, the Lord ain't dealing with other nations anyway. And I'm talking about you nations outside the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The Lord ain't dealing with you if you're not an Israel, a Israelite. The scriptures say he showed the statutes unto Jacob. All right? He has not dealt so with any nation. As for his commandments, they have not known them. Paraphrasing that Psalms. They have not known them. He said, you only have I known out of all the nations I've begotten. All right. He said, uh, he let you know in Ezra's. He said, you're the sons of Adam. But, you know, as for the other nations, the Lord like it to him is a drop of a uh, spit that cometh out of a bucket. And you can Google these scriptures. You know, I'm paraphrasing. Them. You can put, put those words into Google and say KJV and they will all pop up. You know, Matthew 10 and 5, you know, it's a million scriptures. It's, it's a countless amount of ways and, 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 and things you can show in the scriptures uh, uh, to prove that the Lord's only dealing with Israel. I write the Apostle Paul for said, uh, for, for the sake of Israel, am I bound to this chain? The, the, the Lord, to Acts 5, 29, 30 on down, you know, he lets you know he died on the cross for the nation of Israel. Uh, St. John 17 and 9. But with all that being said, you know, I'm just backing this up, you know. <laughs> You know, but with all that being said, the Lord chose you to be an Israelite and he chose you to get the truth because these people are dead. Going back to what I was saying, you know, before I quoted those scriptures, going back to what I was saying, Yahweh Shai said the words are spirit and, and they are life. You know, that's why when you read uh, Matthew, I think it's the eighth chapter, Matthew 8 and 22, it says, um, he said, let the dead bury their own dead. You know, when the man was seeking Yahweh Shai, he told him he had to go bury, I think, his father. But but nevertheless, the point was he said, let the dead and follow him. He said, let the dead bury their own dead. These people were physically alive, you know, so because they could tighten up, you know, get, get, get the man together and, you know, bury him. But they wasn't of the flock. They wasn't this truth. 
They was dead. The scriptures say he that departed from understanding remained in the congregation of the dead. These people are finished, man. Be very, very thankful that the Lord allowed you out of all these um life, these spirits he created, you know, to be an Israelite and to be an Israelite in his truth. Now, granted, we got our ups and downs and, you know, that demon to get on me while I'd be like, oh, I'm supposed to have this or I'm supposed to have that. We ain't supposed to have shit, man. Hey, Paul said, I came to you knowing nothing but your how shy being crucified. So, yeah, some brothers might get a little, you know, more hoes or whatnot than other brothers or some brothers might got a little bit more money or a better job or a better living situation. But the Lord, hey, we the Lord don't cheat, man. He's not man that he needs to lie. All right. He give you the cards and you play them how you dealt with whatever lifestyle, whatever. um, Yeah, whatever lifestyle the Lord ha have you to leave on this, you know, you can always, you know, do things for yourself. But it's just some things that the Lord, the Lord, the Lord knows our spirits. The scriptures say all things are not for all men. You know, prove thy soul. See what is good for it. The Lord catered us exactly how he wanted us. And, and, and you got to accept the good with the bad on this side, like Job said. All right, in the scriptures, hey, this is our reasonable service anyway. Just verily be thankful that we know the truth. You know, we're going to go through shit no matter what type of lifestyle we live in. As long as you're in the truth, you're going to go through shit. That's why he said, uh, for to this end, we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living power who is the savior of all men, especially those who believe. But the Lord chose us to believe and go through it to get to it. Be very grateful that the Lord made you an Israelite. And, you know, I'm the so-called, you know, I ain't, I'm rough around the edges, so to speak. You know, I'm not the favorite family member or whatnot. You know, you always got that cousin and shit who was a goody two-shoes and he got all A's. He end up being on fucking drugs, all type of shit, bugged out, or nothing and a nobody. You know, the Lord didn't pick that goody two-shoe cousin. You know, who who your parents or your auntie and uncle and them couldn't do wrong. Or say you might be that guy. The Lord picked your dark ass up and made you an Israelite and, and gave you this truth. Call it out me, how about shit me, I was shy. You know, for whatever walk of life you come from, you be very happy that the Lord made you an Israelite and gave you this truth. And that should be enough. Because we have the things that's vital for salvation. We have things. Yeah, I was shy, told the disciples, I think he said, many prophets and kings desire to see what you see. Now we see in the end. We live in the see the fall of our enemy. And we understand and acknowledge that the, the whole world don't see shit. And that's even including two-thirds of our people. Be very thankful and very grateful the Lord is supping with you. He said he knocked at the door of your mind. He talked about anointing you with I salve. You know, the mysteries are given to us. We actually know what's going on, man. Be very grateful and thankful. To just know, just knowing alone and, you know, having the spirit and the balls to really get out here and present your body as a living sacrifice and to bear your cross and not be ashamed of the Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, not be ashamed of the brotherhood, not be ashamed of what you do week in and week out, day in and day out, professing and confessing the truth boldly, as it says in Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, boldly. In the face of such as have afflicted us, you know, having the ability and the might to refrain, all right, this from this world, man. The scripture says to abstain from fleshly lust which war against the soul. We down here battling, man. Ain't nobody battling. Be thankful and grateful that the Lord gave you the balls, man, and the power and the spirit. The, the, and that's the Holy Spirit, man. The understanding of the scriptures, man. The wisdom to it. The application of it in this society. The balance of it. You know, and to navigate. So no matter what cards, you know, the Lord gave you on this side, be grateful that you had the truth and be grateful that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah woke you up and do whatever you can to be in that Psalm of the 91st chapter um, um, covering, you know, goes into it also on Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, uh, the 51st chapter, Sirach, the, uh, yeah, Sirach, the 51st chapter, Psalm of the 91st chapter. We just grateful for that. We working for that covering, man. We working for the Lord to be dealing with us constantly, man, in the times that's coming up. Because a billion dollars can't buy what the Lord gave us. A million holes can't give you what the Lord, the gratification of what the Lord gave us. It's nothing compared to this, man. And the bullshit you going through 
and compare it to what the Lord going to give you. If you keep doing exactly what he told you to do, man. So be very thankful. Be very grateful. And this message to myself because I get that old weak ass demon on me. Oh, man. You, you got to fight that shit, man. You got to fight that shit, man. Ain't nothing here worth worth anything that the Lord gave us. The Lord said, um, hey, what would it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Look at these niggas, man. These niggas got everything and ain't got shit. Look at this dork ass nigga, Will Smith. Will Simp. Plagued. Plagued. All these niggas are through. Call a lot of me. How about Shimmy? How was shot, man? He woke us up and gave it this truth. Aki, man. Be grateful, man. Call a me. How about Shimmy? How was shot by Shimba Kakadash. All right. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who taught us this truth. And to the hopeful elect, I came out there and doing, keep enduring. And uh, Shalom.